Music is not meant to be heard, it is meant to be felt, felt right? So let's go ahead and get warmed up. I didn't know I was going to be a dancer growing up. I wanted to be an elementary school teacher, and this ended up being what I'm doing, so it's like killing two birds with one stone. Ready, go. Side, 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 side. My name is James Alexander. I'm the owner of Flavored Flow Studio. So here at Flavored Flow, my main focus is to introduce the dance and pass it down correctly um, in the culture of hip hop. There's a lot of stigma, negative stigma around hip hop uh, culture and the dance due to the media. And that, that's not really what hip hop culture is about or even the dance. In hip hop culture, we have three main dances to the culture. There's breaking, which is the original style of hip hop culture. Then there, are, there was popping, which is the West Coast, came from Fresno, California, Northern California. And then we have locking, which came from um, Los Angeles, California. All right, ready? Here, I teach breaking and popping. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's start doing a little turn. Popping is more known, a lot of people, because of the media, have called it popping and locking, nice, or pop and lock, um, which counts, is actually two, two different dances. Three, four, two, uh, with one, popping, in the 70s, going. it was just a muscle isolation. It was just a quick hit of the muscle. Now, a lot of people look at it as the robot, the waves, the muscle isolations, um, different things like that. I've been dancing for about, this will be my seventh year dancing. I came to Columbus in June. I found this place in August, um, and it's been wonderful. It's my face, it's probably been my favorite dance studio to learn and practice from. Here it's kind of more, it's more relaxed. It's more about the art than anything else. That's kind of what I found out unique here. Uh, it's like visual poetry. I mean, a song comes on, you hear the beat, you got your body starts bouncing, and you're like, and you just like get to it. It's just exciting. Um, with B-Boy, B-Girl, originally that meant Bronx Boy, Bronx Girl, because that's where it originated from. And then it moved out of the Bronx and they started calling it Breakin or Break Boy, Break Girl. And the term originally means to break out and dance. When the media picked it up in 1982, they started calling it Break Dancing because we danced to the break of the music. Coincidentally, that's what we do dance to. So Breakin, the original style of hip hop, started in the late 60s in the Bronx. Uh, when it started, it was only dancing on your feet. When California started picking it up, they really started putting in the power moves. And now it's, you know, it's almost a must that you mix all these together. Uh, there are four parts, main parts to the dance. There's top rock, which is like dancing on your feet. That's your introduction. And then when you get down to the ground, you got your uh, footwork, which is dancing on your hands and feet. Go back down to where you're at. Tap. Go back to squat. Five, six, seven, eight, and go. Freezes, of course, just stop in motion and power moves, which are, the power moves are what breaking is known for. Um, the windmills, the head spins, stuff on your hands. And I think this is where a lot of the misconceptions of breaking came from is that it's freestyle, which it is, but I think a lot of people think freestyle is doing whatever you want, however you want. And what actually with breaking and popping and all this stuff, freestyle is freestyling with the moves given. My name is Lucy and my big girl name is Misfit and I've been dancing for two years. The thing that I love about it is that I get to make new friends and Jamie, um, which is our instructor, he he doesn't just Down teach with. dancing, he, ta yeah. he teaches like behavior Down and stuff, which I really yeah. like. Another thing that Make I really sure like about back. like going to these classes and stuff is that yeah, it's down, not all choreographed. Down. Where you can, he teaches you these moves and then you can mix them up and make them into something else. 
flavored flow is all about having flavor in your flow and, it's, and flow is just about how you're, you put your dance together and what you choose to. So what not you learn in these moves is how you flow with it, you know. So just like I, I try not to teach choreography, I don't want you to learn my dance, I want you to learn the dance. And then I want you to flow and put your flavor style into however you want to. Nice guys, spin and freeze. Teaching the young ones, I want to also instill a lot of the uh, values and virtues uh, such as courage, uh, self-esteem. Well, I've always loved music and dancing, but I'm, uh, I got ADHD, so I'm always active and I always have energy, so this kind of gets my energy out sometimes for the next day, so I'm not all crazy and grumpy in the morning. You know, if you give them character, personality, and hard work, they're going to fulfill their dream and, and work hard at it. I see you guys are all growing, and I love it. I'm super proud of each and every one of you guys. This is the best way I can give back. You know, I, if I can change someone's life, I've done my job, I feel.